Hello, good morning. Not a good morning. Hello. Thank you so much for coming to the Sashiko live streaming. This is Atsushi. Uh, let me check the uh, audio first. Ali? Oh, there we go. Check, 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 check. Yep, so should be okay. Whew. Barry made it. Barry made it. All right, it's Thursday night. It's Thursday night, and this is the Sashiko live streaming. This is not a lecture. This is not a tutorial. This is not the webinar. It is just me talking about Sashiko and stitching. So if you could bring something for you to stitch, that'd be great. We can stitch together. Um, besides that, I brought some topic today. Um, if you would like to have another request for me to talk about, please, please let me know. Um, besides that, the audio is... I'm increasing the volume as much as I can on my side. So if it's too loud, let me know. Well, but I probably don't change that. So if you could lower that, that'd be great. Okay, so yes, today's topic is art. I will talk about art a little bit, <laughs> which, you know, it's really going to be sensitive, difficult, and it's more very much personal. So it might be a little bit challenging, but I will talk about art if I can. I will change the camera so I can start stitching. Just a second. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's weird. All right. There we go. Ah. Yeah, gotcha. Just a second, okay. This... Today's topic, today's topic is, the, I, the, the theme I brought is, if the world considers such as the art, then we would. So the baselines that um, the world think that Sashiko is the art, um, I believe, I guess that you think the same way, you think that Sashiko is the art. And I do have a reason to not to say Sashiko is the art, but at the same time, I'm not gonna say that you shouldn't call it Sashiko as the art, because I understand, I respect and I understand your um, standpoint. I just want them to, want you and them to understand why I say that Sashiko is not the art. And on top of that, if the world considers Sashiko as the art, what can we do, or what would we do to make Sashiko as the art? In order to do that, I had to redefine, or I had to learn what art is for the different side of the world, which is the west side. For me, and for the Japanese people, art is probably different from what you have as a definition. So, that's the beginning, and then I hope that I can talk about um, how we would interpret it that. Somebody's moving a lot, just a second. So yes, um, if you could just participate in the discussion of what is art, and it's going to be really difficult, and I, not, you know, it's extremely, there's no answer for that. Everybody can define the art for themselves. I just want you to kind of open up your mind a little bit and hear the story on the other side of the world. Because... <laughs> I think 100%, I may be wrong, but 100% whom I ever met or talked about Sashiko in terms of art, they all said that Sashiko as the art. They always say that Sashiko is the art. And they mean very well. It's more like, it, it's the 
コンコンんコンプリメント It's the compliment they respect Sashiko so that they call Sashiko as the art and many of them try to understand why I call Sashiko non art and it can be the it is happening because of the definition difference at the same time I am defining we are all defining the word in English English right so I wanted to kind of stop defining in English and try to kind of read between the lines and start imagining why some people think that Sashiko is not the art hello hello and it is not really my personal opinion there's logic to behind that like it's not like I don't consider Sashiko as the art as this simple sentence it is like because we think like that a therefore B so it is probably understandable and the reason I keep saying that Sashiko is not art is not because I do not want you to call your stitching as art or Sashiko as art I want you to do that the only reason this is one reason only one reason I am very careful about that is there are a group of people who use art as the excuse to do whatever. Um, whatever is not always safe. They can do whatever they want, but if they use the art as the excuse to not do something new, then that's going to be the problem, right? Uh, that was my beginning of this journey, like three years, four years ago. Many people try to convince me that they can do whatever they want and they can ignore all of the stories because Sashiko is the art. They, they pretty much say that Sashiko is the art, so what are you whining about? And well, that's another reason I really is trying to push this theory. I don't mind consider Sashiko as the art, and I believe that Sashiko can be the art. But defining that Sashiko as the art without thinking can be pretty scary. And as a result, I would like to talk about that a little bit. <laughs> this might be some repetition if you have uh, taken my workshop or come to the lecture. Or if, you, if you're a long-time follower, this might be the repeating conversation. So, uh, like apologize that but should be something new every time I talk about it <laughs> so what is art what is art Helen, as Helen said what is art what is art what is art we really have to start from there right so we have to define art art can be anything like many people have different definition, but they think that their 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 yeah, their definition is pretty correct. <laughs> so art, 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 art. I also don't even think it's art, so I can do whatever even applies to art. Well, I think what they are trying to say is that how could you deny my creativity? because what I'm doing is artistic work so in that in that specific context though it can be um, sort of violating the word as art Uh, typically, art is defined as the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form, producing work to be applied to their beauty or emotional power. And that's probably from online, uh, from Wikipedia, or somewhere defining that from the dictionary. And, you know, that's correct. That's really correct. And that's the kind of definition I followed. <clears throat> Culturally speaking, though, 
Uh, one thing I really like you to know that is Japanese people consider art as something very extraordinary. So when we heard, when we hear the word art, it's kind of categorized as the fine art, like painting or, you know, expensive pot pottery, not a pottery, some craft, but very much something very fancy fine art painting sculpture there we go sculpture that's what i was going to say and so because we consider art as something very fancy or again extraordinary we do not hang somebody's painting or even copy of somebody's painting printed version of that we do not really hang it on somebody's house's wall. Even if they have a you know, pretty good house, it is not common. I'm not saying nobody does, but it is not common to hang <clears throat> somebody's art on the wall. So that's one reason is that we consider I mean, art as the extraordinary things, something for somebody special. Right? That's the sort of the basic understanding of art for the majority of Japanese. And we sometimes think that it is extraordinary to go to museum, which is very different in the US. Uh, but it's more like sophisticated group of people. And I, I never went to museum when I was a child because they, my parents really didn't think that I, we would be even qualified for that. Very extraordinary. And if you're a good follower of this channel, you know what is the core of Sashiko. It's the ordinary. Sashiko's core is ordinary. In order to explain what Sashiko is, we cannot skip the concept of ordinary. Ordinary Japanese people, ordinary Japanese concept, ordinary Japanese mindset is the foundation of this practice therefore i do not consider sashiko as the art <laughs> if the art is something extraordinary for us then sashiko cannot be extraordinary therefore sashiko cannot be the art that's kind of simple logic right it's a very simple logic and this logic is really not new Many sashiko artisans I grew up with did not consider their stitching as the art because what they did was very ordinary. Yet, for them, for them and for us, the art was something extraordinary, something fancy, something outside of their ordinary. So, he, no, but actually nobody considered their stitching as the art. So it was very natural for me to not to consider sashiko as no art. And it is changing little by little because I read in English, I moved to the US, so I live in the English, and now I kind of start seeing how the Western people, American people, consider art. And this is different, so I just, the, the reason I, I'm talking about this is that there are those stories behind the word art for us, the extraordinary and ordinary. Without understanding that, saying sashiko as the art, and therefore it is okay to focus on the result, or it is okay to not to learn something new. I mean, it is okay to not to learn something is quite, I don't want to say arrogant, but quite risky, violent, scary. So that being said, that being said, <laughs> Helen, that's a very good summary. Yeah, we are using 21st century mindset to qualify probably 19th, 18th, or even before that. So yes, it is very difficult. And I think it's very respectful when we use our imagination we have to define things based on what we have. So it is perfectly fine to define things in the 
it is okay to define the things that was happening 300 years ago, 400 years ago, when we can use our imagination. Uh, but if we have to sort of narrow it down based on what we always b believe, um, then the problem starts having. And that's, that's the one line, okay? That's the one... I'm not saying Sashiko is... I'm not saying Sashiko cannot be art. Uh, this whole topic, today's theme is... Bring, <laughs> this is not even start line. Today's theme is to see what we can do if Sashiko can be the art, right? So, but I will appreciate the comments. I will reading that. Um, since you could use the fabric as is, but you are sewing technique that has been handled down from generation past when the average person threw away a garment if it has bought and fell. Yeah, what? Just a second, okay? Since you could use the fabric as is, but you use a sewing technique that has been handed down from generation past when the average person throws away a garment if it has a bottom fall. I don't understand this. I'm sorry. It's art. Hmm. I'll, I'll rethink about that, but I didn't get that this part. It's disrespectful to have that attitude for the culture or art that is in your own culture, even if you consider it's art. So yes, that's going to be probably the conversation about cultural appropriation and stuff like that. But today I don't want to go there. It's it's going to probably make it a little more complicated because uh, I still think that art is the positive word and then they mean well I just don't want uh, there are a group of people who keep saying that Sashiko is the art and then they don't really learn anything they keep pushing things so you know this is kind of not a warning but they don't listen to what I'm saying because they're not the people who listen to, so it, it is really meaningless. But still, I have to speak up, so... <laughs> you might be here, you, you are not the people. <laughs> You're not a group of audience that I need to talk to. You know what I'm talking about already, so... Anyway, so Sashiko was not the art, is not art because of this difference, extraordinary and ordinary, right? And I googled, I read some books about art, I talked to somebody who is artist, who them, who called, who called, who called himself artist. And the, the, the definition was what pretty much Lee gave, Leah gave us. So typically art is defined as the expression or application um, and what I kind of liked about the definition that I read is that art is a manifestation, a creation which reflect, reflect what the maker is thinking or hoping, which can be philosophy. So the art is an object, craft, creation, some something or even ideas or media that carry convey the maker's philosophy and this is probably one definition uh, some people may define such i mean define art differently but i kind of like this definition because i could relate to that. So, as I keep saying, for me, Sashiko is not art because of those reasons. Uh, there are a little more reasons as well, but uh, roughly summarizing, it's because of the ordinary plus versus extraordinary. And if that's the definition of the art as the manifestation of some philosophies we have, then we gotta try it. And that was about 2021, um, 
the beginning of 2021, when we kind of started getting pretty depressed because of the pandemic, we thought that was going to be only for a few months, but it did not really get better. And it, you know, we, we kind of, we, we all went through that. 2022, 2022 right now is a little bit better. But the last year, beginning of the last year was a little more <laughs> not, I don't want to say depressed, but clo not a closed, dif dif different. So I wanted to make something that convey my philosophy on Sashiko or about Sashiko or even about myself. So I was, I started thinking about what I can make. And I kind of share this story with my mother, Keiko. And she does not give her, <laughs> I don't want to say give, give her F, but she really di didn't reply to my question. I asked her what is the art and she, her, her reply was very unrelated. So, <laughs> but I tried to ask her, if, if, if we can make art with Sashiko, and if that's the case, if that's the, that art is the creation carrying the philosophy, what can we do? And she started thinking what, can, what she wants to do, and it was very simple for her because her message is always pretty simple, and she tried to edit that and tried to manifest it. And the result is this as you keep seeing it the result is this Ara. <laughs> result is this Ara. Uh, you can go to the instagram this you can we can kind of zoom it up and i explained the very detailed stories on patreon today is kind of a brief version of that explanation i'm not gonna go into details because it's gonna be a pretty long story i took a long time to write it but so this is probably the art one sashiko can reach to <laughs> probably so what i'm trying to say is that sashiko can be art and i'm not denying that sashiko is the art but i just don't want you to don't want them not you i'm sorry don't want them to take it easy on that take it easy take it take it <laughs> you, you don't take it easy and you know Helen and everybody is saying like what defines art, who defines art critics. So it, there's a lot of discussion around it. And my question is, I don't know. I just want to spread the word that Sashiko may not be art, but Sashiko can be the art. And there are both stories and reasons for that. Sorry, I'm going to go back to the comments. I had to finish my saying. It has taken a while for me to grasp what you're saying, <laughs> since we, the West, have different form of art. We, I also sometimes lose the fine art. Yeah, um, so, <laughs> many people tell me that what I'm saying is very, very difficult to understand, or not even difficult, confusing. Because they don't understand what I'm saying. It's not because... I thought that was because of my English, but because some other group of English speakers understand what I'm saying. It's pretty much the shift. It, it, it doesn't happen overnight. I'm saying that... I'm just saying that hamburger might be sweet. In my... In my like, if you <laughs> get a Burger King Whopper... And if you are imagining a bite, it should taste like meat, right? It should taste like little salty or ketchup. If it tastes sweet, your body will say, what the... In that case, 
you are kind of experiencing something new. That's what's going on. It might not click in your brain that what I'm saying is really natural. You're eating sweet hamburger, so... <laughs> But it takes a little while to understand, oh, you know, people over there will probably eat these kind of things. So it's not, you know, right or wrong or better or worse, it's just different. And by... <laughs> just bear with me, bear with me. So you will probably find it something, like getting something. Hmm, this might be it. Um, but, you know... Many people try to... Actually, many people give up before they reach to that. That's why I have a lot of problems, but... I cannot control those people's... If you... If they want to have a... Instant answer, instant graph... Instant answer, then my... Account or channel is not the place for that because I don't offer that. I don't think I should offer that, too. So, as long as one keep listening... Well, one day, it's gonna click. Ah, so many, so many, so many. <laughs> so many comments, I'm sorry. Um, in Japan, is art considered the same as design? And through my eyes, I see Japanese authentic as beauty design, as it varies as shiko patterns, packaging, sushi. Mm. Art, well, it's we have to kind of define again Japanese again. The contemporary Japanese my age or younger people are very westernized. I'm kind of a rare case because I had to, you know, live in those unique environments. Some people consider art as the design. And contemporary artists may behave as the western artist. Um, but the reason many people like the Japanese art or like design simplicity is the reason is that's a very good let me think why do they like why why is japanese design so simple <laughs> we appreciate <laughs> we would, let me let me try we appreciate the communi like non-verbal communication. So I don't... Like, let's say that I want you to come to my house to help me to move things f when I have to move to somewhere else. Um, in direct communication, what I would say is, please come and help me. Uh, I might offer some, you know money or dinner or something like oh please come and help me so i can you know i'll buy you lunch or dinner so it's direct communication right direct communication is very important and sharing what i want share uh, understanding what you want is very direct communication it's quite important to communicate like that we imply things <laughs> a lot so the conversation will start, I am planning to have a move day tomorrow. That's kind of applying, not applying, that's implying that would you be able to help. So the communication is consistent or structured based on reading the reading between lines. Not saying it directly is the beauty of Japanese communication back then, not now, back then. S especially when samurai was around. <laughs> and many people kind of followed that mindset. And I believe the Japanese designs are so simple and sophisticated or, you know, for us, for the Western people is that we don't really deliver the message per se. So the, what is the purpose of package design? The purpose of package design is to sell, right? To sell, to market it. It is very important to put the direct message on the package, but they try to sort of settle those 
main message and put it more something implying. <laughs> As the result, it may be simplified like that. Um, it, it is not my profit. Like I, I have, uh, this might be just wrong. It might be just my opinion, but that's probably one one reason I can think. Less is more. So we we try to sort of. This might be helpful. Um, the Japanese cooking. Many people say that Japanese cooking is a subtra subtraction, subtraction, not addition. Like when we learn how to cook, especially my grandmother in a different. My, my mother's side was a chef, not a chef, but like a cook. She was cooking in the small restaurant. And she told me how to cook, and I loved cooking. But always she told me that you have to understand how to subtract. Subtract? It's not plus, it's minus. And it's probably the same idea too. The cooking is not addition. It's, it's not about what to add. It's it's about what to not to add. And, you know, that's... Doesn't make sense because I'm adding soy sauce anyway. So <laughs> it does not make sense, but it does make sense too. It did make sense to me. And that's probably applied to many, many fields. By the way, it it applies to sashiko too. So sashiko is about stitching, but not about stitching either too. So Westerners want explicit. Westerner express implicit. Yeah, that's that's a good summary. Uh, it's not going to explain everything, but that's a good summary for that. Thank you, Helen. So, for me, actually, this is a very good ex ex example. Sashiko today is all about addition. They keep adding numbers, 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 because they think that the bigger numbers are better. Some Japanese thought that zero is the best number, so their goal is to keep the subtracting numbers. So instead of thinking what to add, when we think about what to not to add, it may get closer to what I'm talking about. And that's probably the one of the biggest difference that I, not a difference, biggest uncomfortable. It's not a wrong. It's not hatred. It's not dislike. It's just st strangeness that I feel. It's not natural to me. It's... <laughs> Many people might be upset, but it's like pineapple on the pizza. It's not wrong. It's just weird. And why? It doesn't have to be there. <laughs> So, that's the sort of summary of that. Sorry, I couldn't read all of the comments. Let me go back a little bit. Uh, what would Sashiko be better qualified as a skill or practice? That's a very good question as well. Mm, practice, probably. But more more importantly, it's ordinarily. I know it doesn't make sense, but the qualified as the Japanese ordinarily is going to be probably the answer for that. When I think of Sashiko, art is not the word to choose to find. The word art simplifies it without giving depth. Yes, so the only problem I have calling Sashiko as the art is for those who use the art as the excuse to not to think deeper, or even excuse to not to even learn. So... Um, I kind of define my mother Keiko as the artist, because she's the nightmare. I mean, she's a great, great person. I love her. She's, she's a genius. But she's very difficult to handle as a mother, and that can be a very good definition of artist, which is very disrespectful. So I apologize for that. But <laughs> but I think if I think she well, she does not really fall into the category of sashiko artisan because she was not. She has been doing sashiko for well, I don't know how long, but 
she never considered herself as the artist. I mean, art artisan. So she's very free, and we had a very big problem back then too. But I consider I consider my mom Keiko as the artist, and therefore we have a lots of fight. Like many, many fight. Mom, why did you do that? Like why? Well, because I liked it. You're comfortable with that, but okay, you know, if that's you, that's you. Do you think we call it art because we can see the beauty in the pattern design? That can be one, yeah. So it, it might be actually a question back to you, everybody here. Why do you think Sashiko is the art? Why do everybody think Sashiko is the art? I mean, again, sorry, but you, you're not the audience I should ask this question to because you know the story already. So the <laughs> your question, your answer will be something very profound <laughs> that I'm not really... I cannot go deeper from that profound answers. Um, if somebody can give me very shallow answers, then I can go too deeper with that. But if you give me the profound, deep answers, I cannot. It's, it's yours, so I would like to respect that. But... By the way, not by the way, uh, this is art, what I'm doing right now, too. <laughs> you may be tired of looking at these patterns for, uh, like, what, two months or so? I am stitching the same pattern for 100 meters, right? Again, 100 meters. I'm insane. I know, I don't know why I said that, but I said it already, so I'm going to do it. 100 meters of these patterns, this, it's like six, no, it's, it's six inch, I guess? Six inch. And I don't know how many inch, 100 meter. So, I don't know what's going to be after I stitch 100 meters. But by showing that, it can be my definition of Sashiko as the art. Because my philosophy is that the result doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry, the reason I'm laughing is Julie's. Julie's. <laughs> Why? Because. Because is the basic American answer. That's that's a that's a point. Wow. You know, I used to be very sincere. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm sincere still, but. I was really trying to understand why there are people like completely ignoring the contents of Sashiko. I did not, I was so naive that I didn't think that they mean well, they meant very well. Some of them really meant well, but the others were not actually trying to learn. They were intentionally trying to change that. But anyway, I asked like, why do you use this specific thread? Uh, why don't you use this, you know, needles? Why do you use thimbles? Why do you use fabric? Why why do you call it sashiko? Answer was just because. They didn't really specify anything, but just because. Like, mm, okay. Did I miss some explanation before that? But And if I push that, then they get upset. So I decided to not to push it because, you know, when they, when somebody becomes really angry, it's not comfortable. Hello, Jedo san, arigato. Osaki. Kuka san, sumimasen. Konban wa atte itadaite tamo ni arigato gozaimasu. Mata konban yoroshiku onegai shimasu. So that may cause some people to see something they consider beautiful, but that's inaccessible to them as art. So that, I'm sorry, I'm probably missing the... It could be similar to why people have different per perceptions of what is fancy. 
which often comes down to things that aren't out of your own skill and ability to have. Yeah, so that may cause some people to see something they... So, I'm not really denying their perception or understanding or... You know, they mean well. So... It's just the stories behind it. Ooh. Since Sashiko is from the other side of the world, there might be story or another normal, another expectation that we might not share in the US, Western countries. Um, that's pretty much only thing, only goal of this sharing my goal is to not to change their mind or to win over the conversation or to prove what i'm doing is right it doesn't matter i i'm gonna be doing anyway um it does not really i don't have to defend myself well i might defend naturally be as the natural reaction but i don't have to defend myself at all so It is my goal to just keep sharing those stories so that some will understand or some will try to dig it dig that dig into more. It's the worst thing worst case scenario is the people like you who can care do not reach to the information and as a result they unfortunately miss something important. And that's the worst case. Like that's that's unfortunate for any everybody in the picture, and I just don't want that to happen. I often view things as art when they are unnecessary beautiful in a way, but it doesn't. It I don't understand why it is necessary to make a beautiful thing. I may think it's art when I it's not art then. <laughs> My great grandmothers both made lace by hand using tatting. They would make may uh, many yards of lace for their future daughter or granddaughter's use. I still have mine. I use some. Then removed some. Save. So, yes, it's not the point to. <laughs> the reason I keep saying Sashiko is not art is very, 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 very simple and primitive. <laughs> to be honest, like you may find some article that I might consider, I might call, I might call, eh. Like if you go back to my blog five years, six years ago, 2008, a little bit before that, 2017 or 2016 if you find my blog article back then where i really really stood the beginning of starting to introduce sashiko in english very very beginning i may have introduced myself as sashiko artist because i did not think about it at all <laughs> i i did not even think what is the art well, people call me such art, well, you know, people call me such artist, so why don't I use that title? So I changed that to the such artisans or practitioner or storyteller or everything. When I had experienced that art is what is art. So now I don't consider myself such artist. But before I got into the problem or pain for that matter, I was not even thinking that deep so it's not really complex issue it's just com it's not a complicated it's just very primitive one thing i keep saying one thing i do not like and i would like to avoid is those group of people who use the word art as the excuse to not to learn 
Like they say that I can do whatever I want in Sashiko because Sashiko is the art. In that context, Sashiko is not the art. I would like to convey my message and while understanding what Sashiko is, I would like to imagine what Sashiko could be and I would like to make something artistic and this is my Sashiko art. I am gonna be there for you to support you saying Sashiko is the art and I'm happy for that. If somebody considers me as the artist, uh, hopefully, ideally, understanding the story behind it, I will never reject it. In fact, I will humbly accept it with saying thank you. So that's really simple, but you know, this is pretty sensitive topic. So if I start saying like, what is art? Sashiko is not art. Definition can be really different. And that's why I did not start today's conversation by asking questions. If I started this conversation or live streaming by asking questions like saying, can you def describe me what, what is art for you? And then it's going to be, this can be chaotic because we all have a different definition to the art. Very personal thing for that. I just want you to sort of open up your mind and understand the possibility of being something different. What draws me to Sashiko is the beauty I see in the patterns created with the stitching. What I want to know more about is the stories behind it, the history, the where, when and why. Yeah. I will, well, I will do that and I, I did it already. What's going to be a good opportunity? I believe that you can find the archive for the webinar I did last year. And if you are taking the online class, well, you should get the password too. If not, please let me know. It's somewhere. But the only things I can share is mine, like my family recipe. Because Sashiko was so ordinary, it can be very different. And that's kind of the risk. That's another reason I do not define word. By defining word based on my understanding, the story I carry, um, some people may believe that I'm the answer. I don't want that to happen because I can be the answer, but I'm not the answer. So I can talk about my stories, about you know histories, where, why, and when. But I cannot talk on behalf of other, others because not many people wanted to share that. Sashiko is ordinary and not many people want to share the ordinary. That's another difficult point. If they were so proud of what they did in Sashiko or even borrow making, they would have documented, they would have probably passed it down with the, like, you know, colorful packaging, you know, they just call it as the family treasure and they had to, you know, preserve it for family's heritage. They didn't, because they did not consider that as the fancy thing. So, <laughs> it can be extreme analogy, but... Uh, analogy I often use is, would you keep your underwear that it's completely tattered until, like, do you keep that? <laughs> I mean, let's say that you cannot get the new underwear. You keep wearing the underwear every day, but you cannot e replace that. You happen to find out that you might die tomorrow. Would you ask your family to keep that underwear to the next generation? I wouldn't. I mean, that's extreme, extreme, extreme analogy. But the feeling is kind of same because it's the ordinary thing. Our underwear is not art. In my understanding. And 
Sashiko was kind of similar. It was more beautiful. It was more, you know. But Boro was exactly like that. <laughs> yes. So the passing down Boro is very, very, very weird. It was not a choice. It was out of choice. As the result. So just please don't hang the ball in your, in your house. That's gonna probably the trend, but that is already a trend, but that's for me it's really weird. Like hanging the ball on the wall is yeah weird. I think Sashiko is similar to knitting or sewing. Knitters and sewers can create beautiful things as practical things. And some will be more beautiful and more artistic and some will be bad. To g I'm sorry. I... So if somebody offered the definition or the answer doubted, we cannot really define those ordinary things from one person's perspective. Try to learn from somebody who know what he or she is talking about, but don't like don't listen to somebody who say that he or she knows everything. How can we know? everything if it's cultural thing like i you know i am japanese so i'm i am better better aware of the culture but i am not gonna say that i know all about one culture so okay i'll just go back to the comment sorry if i skip that you may have already answered this question in previous episode, but how do you keep your needles sharp? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't worry about that. As long as you use one, I recommend you don't have to sharp your needle. In fact, don't. If you stitch that much, it's time to replace. But I'm talking about only the needle I recommend. Don't don't use other needles if that's the case. <laughs> there is underwear of past king, queen, empire in museums. Oops. Well, that's what's happening in Queen. I mean, in the borough too. So, I mean, my question was: Would you? Would you? Also, this is hilarious to me because I am in the process of replacing all of my underwear with linen underwear I'm making, and people think this is very artistic. <laughs> I don't know what is artistic anymore. So, <laughs> I'll probably, I'll probably <laughs> stop this topic. So yeah, as Jade said, thank you, Jade, for answering the question on behalf of me. Um, these needles are very, very sharp. And if you stitch eight hours for three months, <laughs> I increased hours because some people say, like, well, it can last longer than that. Then this will... You know, that might, you might be still feeling dull after that much stitching, but that's probably will be the time for you to replace it because needle will have some bent. So, I don't replace the needle more than five times in each year, so, and I stitch a lot. Sometimes not even three. Ah. And, and you know, Le Leah and also Susan are talking about 
this is not only about Japan. It is happening everywhere. The point is that there are not that many people who can talk on behalf of as the result, we kind of lose the opportunity to imagine. It happens and it is happening everywhere in your own culture too. Something you define as the art may not be the art in the past few hundred years ago. Ask some Japanese who doesn't who just studied sashiko recently, they might call sashiko as the art. And I would probably have called sashiko art if I didn't have to listen to those and complaints from my artisans. In fact, I tried to sell such cause the art ones and I kind of failed. Well, you know. So it is just, I am just privileged, I'm lucky to be able to share those stories. But that's it. And I just want to have this opportunity to, not opportunity, this is, I want to kind of think what would be. We tend to define things very easily, and we tend to believe what the other people say. So, yeah. It's just happening everywhere. Well, ni yeah, I cannot do sashiko without this thread or needle. Needle might be the second important thing. Wow, I don't know. I, the, you know, I'm very spoiled, extremely spoiled. So I don't know the other needle. I mean, I tried before, <laughs> but I always come back here. And, well, it's not okay to lose it. I mean, it's okay to lose it. We, it sometimes happens, you lose needle. That, I'm not gonna judge it. It happens, it happened to me, but ideally, technically speaking, that's not okay, right? As a professional, if you're a profession. Uh, so I don't lose needle. And there's a way to not to lose the needle. Um, and it does not really get, well, only the possible case scenario that I had to change the needle was to stitch on the denim uh, more than I should. But that's probably bad for your finger or wrist before needle. <laughs> but it's not because the needle get dull, it's needle change its form. And I talked to the you know, needle manufacturer we asked to make, and their reply was, well, this is Sashiko needle, so it's not really, you know, we did not anticipate that they would stitch on denim. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, that's, that's, <laughs> that's nobody's fault. Mm, yeah. he, he got a point. Would carpentry be a like example? It begins as the necessity. Today, depending on the maker, some may consider it as the art form. Uh, I can only talk about Japanese, you know, categorization. But to answer that question, carpentry is going to be categorized as the art, in my, in my opinion. Opinion. And there are the Japanese stitcheries that can be categorized art, in my understanding or in my opinion. And you may be wondering what is the, you know, what differentiates art and non-art? Like why kabuki can be art? 
there's a reason. There's, there's not a reason. There's one specific clear boundaries. It's very fascinating. If you kind of categorize everything, this can be art, this cannot be art, this can be art. I mean, pretty much that's based on the ordinary and extraordinary. But like asking Japanese and naturally they you know ask them to naturally categorize is this art or not right and then ask you know carpentry as the art yeah well carpentry can be both actually I'm sorry but there's a very clear boundaries Frank Lloyd writes, his house was on sale. On sale. Where was it? Wisconsin? Nearby Madison? I don't know why. It, well, has it ever happened before? And I don't think that's a. Well, I mean, I, I cannot, of course, afford it, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that nobody can find replacement from Lowe's or Home Depot. Dip, Home Depot, so. That can be a one expensive investment. I mean, it's beautiful. I would love to live there, but I don't. I like DIY. I like fixing things by myself. By myself. So, if there's no parts from Lowe's or Home Depot, that's kind of sad. Or not even sad. It's bad. There is a Japanese carpentry considered art, which is the Miyadaiku. Miyadaiku is the carpentry for the shrine. And it can be categorized, this, that can be categorized art. And the other carpentry may be categorized as non art. So, but there's a very, very clear boundaries. I think it's really easy to imagine, actually, and I'm not really saying that yet, but I'm just learning woodworking because I need new furniture and cannot afford it. What I can afford is my dad leftover scrap wood. I build this table by myself, too, and that's why it's like this. I cannot afford new furniture neither. It's expensive. No. So the clear, clear boundaries to define what is art and what is not art in Japanese craft or art <laughs> or performance or anything is the social class who did, who did it is very very important in fact who did it will define what it is that art or not and unfortunately in Japan back then the women had no I'm sorry no no is bad word. it's not no women was significant significantly classified as the low so pretty much all of the practice that women were dominating the practice itself that would be considered as non-art anything that man was dominating such as japanese embroidery back then back then right now probably there are many women professions but that will be considered as the art and i think it's art so carpentries wise there are some um carpentry done by some specific group of people for the specific group of arist aristocratic people, which is the Miyadaiku that I mentioned about, that can be categorized as the art. And those um, lower class, even if it was done by non... like, it was done by men, probably that can be considered as the um, non-art. But men with lower social status that is the group I cannot define. It really varies based on what 
we're talking about. So it's kind of difficult to define that. But if it's a practice done by women, it will be categorized as non-art. If it's categorized as, sorry, if it was dominated by men, then it's it can be. It's most likely to be categorized as the um, art. Naturally, like they feel natural about it. So yeah, I'm not really proud of this culture. I mean, I'm, you know, talking, sharing, but it's really not. <laughs> Helen, your comment got sort of banned because of the word, <laughs> word choice you made. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I don't want to show it. If the Google says it's not okay, I'm not going to show it. Sorry. So yeah, the such was very much, and you know, they had to stitch, which means they did not live in the higher classification, classification, higher class. So it's, it makes sense. It's just, it's not about, it's not really good or bad. It's, we're talking about history, so. Oh, no, now I'm so curious. <laughs> so yeah, that was the today's conversation. After this thread, I will finish today's conversation. Today's not a conversation. Why am I keeping conversation? Today's live streaming. Thank you so much for coming on. <clears throat> I hope I kind of... It's a very difficult topic. And I hope that I could share the part of my story. And again, this is not the answer. This is not the definition. This is not the... This is just one story. But I just want you to imagine what it would be like based on that story so you can apply it to yourself too. Oof, that was a lot of talking. I'm sorry. I didn't stitch much today. <laughs> I don't remember any of stitching. I feel like I just started stitching right now. <sighs> I use my brain a lot. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming. So, you know, Leah's request is very much understandable and very valid. You know, you like to learn the history and, you know, the stories behind it. And I'm here for that. But unfortunately, there is no textbook for that. There's no simple paragraph that I can explain everything. Instead, I have so many stories that I can share and then, you know, collecting those stories i hope that you can get a grasp of what we are trying to pass it down so <laughs> there was a person kept saying like japanese is the ancient needle technique and i kept asking like what do you mean by ancient and do you have any documents that it was ancient you know Defining is very, very scary. They might be just doing it for their business. Because it's easier, much, much easier to market if you define it so simply. And many people do it because they don't really care. Ah. <laughs> Susan, Susan. No, like, even if I write a book, I, I don't want it to be considered as a textbook. That's just the 
story book. Something that you may come back when you. It's, it's something that you want to keep in your bathroom so you can read it while you are in business. Like a long business. Oh my god, it's gonna take some time today. Well, let's read his story then. And that that that's the that's the level. That's that's the that's the ordinal I would like you to have. It's not sophisticated. It sounds like sophisticated because it's outside of your culture, but it's not sophisticated by itself. So I'm not minimizing, I'm not, you know diminishing my own culture, but that's what it is. Okay. Ah, oh, there's, there's one more line. I didn't, I'm not saying, like, I'm just being a duck. I forgot about it. One more line. Yeah, I, I I went back to horse poop, borrow. Like, do you really like? I still remember the conversation that I should make her borrow happens t-shirts with that you know horse poop mark. Do you? <laughs> am I really supposed? To, I mean, do you think it's a good idea to do it? <laughs> Has it been like what six months or even more than that? <laughs> the the story is behind it is that borrow means. Like, borrow means tattered fabric, right? That's the definition that you can find from the first line. Second meaning, we have a lot of meaning in borrow, but second meaning is the literally horse shit, dropping. Like, if I say I grabbed borrow, means like I grabbed the horse, dropping from the horse. So, that that was the kind of live streaming we got excited about that <laughs> but yep if you enjoy the story it's to learn the story i mean the culture behind it that's the whole story that's the whole purpose and yes, I would like to publish a book one day, but it has to be, it doesn't have to be, but it will be, because I will not compromise there. It won't be like textbook per se, it's gonna be the book that you can read my story, which you probably know already, because I've been telling pretty much every, well, not everything actually. So, well, by that time you will hear everything. And I, as I keep writing everywhere, Instagram, I am doing this for my daughter, who is probably going to have a, you know, cultural, cultural crush. And I want you to tell her that he was a very difficult person to work with or deal with, but he left this many stories. You were poetic in my speech? Really? I've never heard that. Okay, I thank you. Poetic. Poetic. I think many people, yes, actually many people, not many, some people give me the comments that my writing is really philosophical or poetic for that matter. And that's because of my ability to be poetic. It's because of the Japanese language structure. Uh, I'm trying to speak English when I introduce Sashiko as you would be communicating in Japanese. Which I mean is that I'm trying to encourage you to imagine between lines. So I'm not really telling you the answers. I'm not really telling you the what to do. I'm implying, but I'm not really telling you. Because that's what we communicate. So as the result, 
my writing or my saying is quite philosophical for that, but it's kind of, you know, I, I'm not, I don't talk like this with my family. It's more like, well, I don't even talk with my family. I only listen. I'm just, it's a kid, it's, it's a joke. But yeah, I will do my best to not to change it. But yeah, you know, this is something I gotta do for my daughter and for myself too. So you will, and also all, your help is always appreciated. Help wise, uh, if you could press the good button, that'd be really appreciated. I still again have a bot. That'd be great to keep this um, channel healthy. Next week, I will talk about Zokin. Look, I, I just uploaded the video about Zokin and I'm working on the second one uh, specifying how to. If, if I could finish it, or even not if, I would like to talk about Zokin a little bit next week. Sashiko can be art, Boro can be art. The, if there's any one word that cannot be word, art is Zokin. If, if somebody starts saying Zokin is the art, I really probably have to speak up a little louder. So. Okay. Um, before I finish this live streaming. Well, I'll just bring it to the next live streaming. I'm not, it's, it's going to be a long conversation again, but do you consider me as an angry person? <laughs> Some people think that I'm always angry on my in my Instagram post or anywhere and purely confused. Well, sometimes I get that, but it has been a long time since I get that. A few month a few years ago, yes, I was often angry, which I stated that I am angry that dot dot dot. So it, I, I was once very angry, but recently I was I was really not angry at all. So it's really, hmm, what was that about? So I will talk about that. Tomorrow. I mean, I'm learning why some people. If it's only one, I wouldn't be really caring. But there are several, and I would like to talk about that. I would like to think about that. But some people think me as the kind of difficult person, or <laughs> the Japanese person, Michael, who is who is organizing the English version of gathering. Uh, she thought of me as the angry person, and she thought that I was very scary. So I'm not really judging those people who consider me as the angry person. I just would like to know. I would like to make sure that I can communicate better. <laughs> Michael didn't communicate to me for two years because she thought that it was too scary to contact me, which is very funny and which is kind of scary actually because she's Japanese, which, you know, she's working with me, not a working. I'm supporting her right now for her dream to be true, to be bridged between the U.S. and uh, the West, I mean, sorry, West and sorry, the English speaker and Japanese speaker throughout crafting. So it's a really interesting <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not catching all the comments. Um how do I decide my topic? Um I don't know. <laughs> I the it's the question like how did you decide your dinner today? Like why did you decide to eat that specifically? That's the same, you know, that that <laughs> Okay, um, I hope you have a very good night on Thursday night, and I will come back to this live streaming on next Thursday as well. Alright, have a good night.